Welcome to The Lowdown. My name's Kirk. And I'm Mac. And we're going to talk about kind of an interesting story that delves into the area of a competitive advantage for a government-funded agency. Mac, what are the details on this one? Yeah, so despite a lot of negative comments and feedback for Freddie Mac on this, FHFA is pushing forward with approving a second mortgage purchase program by Freddie Mac. And you can imagine why the private market isn't really thrilled with that. Now they're competing with a government-funded agency for who wants to purchase a bunch of second mortgage on the on the market. And of course, we're in a we're in an environment right now where a lot of people aren't refinancing their first mortgage. If they're sitting at three percent, they're probably not refinancing that. And the way they're accessing their equity is tapping into either a HELOC or a close-in second, and that's where the rub really comes. Yeah, and if you look into the details about what Freddie Mac will be purchasing, it's going to be these really prime plus type borrowers, people who had a first mortgage that has a lot of equity already um, at the initial start of that first mortgage, and it's going to leave more uh, borrowers that are going to be higher DTI, lower income, lower LTV, to the private lenders who have been servicing this niche in the market for years and years. And it's going to funnel a lot of the kind of prime plus borrowers over to Freddie Mac is one of the big concerns. Which of course statistically means the loans that are left over are going to be the loans that don't perform as well and have the higher risk of default, et cetera. And that's why this is a problem. And I guess if you work for a mortgage company, and you care deeply about this subject, one of the things you could do is ask the leadership of your company to speak at a federal level to this subject to get more and more feedback, because louder voices sometimes do, you know, the squeaky wheel really does work. But this is gonna create greater tension moving forward. I don't think we've heard the end of this just because the ruling was in the favor of uh, Freddie Mac. Yeah, there had been over 150 comments made about this pilot program, which is gonna last about 18 months to start, um, with kind of tough comments made to them even by the MBA, which typically is very industry forward. Um, and we're gonna just need to see how this plays out because it's approved and it's gonna be starting to happen. So check with your management to see if you guys are gonna be offering this or if you're gonna keep the relationships with the private lenders you've been working with already. Just one thing to caveat about this is Freddie Mac is looking only at closed end seconds. So this should not immediately affect HELOCs, but you know, only time tells where that scope creep continues and if they'll roll those in later. Well, nobody likes an uneven playing field, so if you've got thoughts or ideas or comments on this subject, please make them. And if you want more information like this, please check us out at knowledgecoopplus.com. Mm -hmm.